Good evening. Welcome to our ceremony, honoring and celebrating our career and technical education graduates this evening. Just a few reminders before we begin. Please note the exits on either side of the stage and in the back of the auditorium in the event of an emergency. Also, I would ask at this time if you have a cell phone to please silence it as well. I would like to invite our Board of Education President, Mrs. Joanne Freeman, to lead us in the Pledge to the Flag, if you would all rise. Gentlemen, please remove your hats. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'd like to thank the Clarksville School District this evening for hosting us, in particular, Superintendent Rob DeLilly, High School Principal Rich DeMalley, Assistant High School Principal Dennis Fai, and Middle School Principal Mark Batty. And also, in particular, I would like to thank Head Custodian Bob Williams for all of his help and support over the past week in helping us set up the program. We are live streaming the event on our website, and thank you to Phil Schuyler, our digital multimedia teacher, and two of our students, Elijah Ryder and Jesse Cromley, who are working the event this evening. And also thank you to Sean Mahan for helping Phil set up the streaming devices. Thank you to Dr. Michelle, our district superintendent, Dr. Cohen Forrest, our deputy superintendent, Kathy Lewis, our chief financial officer, and our board of education, President Joanne Freeman, Vice President Harry Brooks, our members, Jim Berline, Carmen Carrico, John DeValve, Jean Laporta, and Alan Turnbull. And most importantly, thank you to the parents, family, and friends who are here this evening and who have supported our students throughout their high school careers. Certainly without your support, this wouldn't be possible. I would also like to draw your attention to the program. On the back of the program, there is information about photography. Bill Trojan is here with us taking photos of the students when they receive their certificates. The information and the website is available on the back of the program. Also, the insert of the program contains awards that our students have previously earned, in addition to some of the awards that will be presented this evening. So to begin the awards, before we begin the awards part, part of the program, I would like to introduce and welcome Dr. Michelle, our district superintendent, who will say a few words to our graduating seniors. Dr. Michelle. This is my favorite time of the year. Um, we put a lot of work into getting our children, our students, uh, to where they are today. Uh, and I don't think uh, we can say it enough uh, to the teachers and the support staff at uh, HFM BOCE. So I'd like to ask them to please stand and be recognized. So stand. so dedicated uh, not only to the professions that they represent, uh, but to the students, to the children, to the young adults that are now heading off into the world. Uh, and I can't say enough about what they do for us every day. So thank you all. Um, so with that said, just a few remarks. Um, our group of graduates this year are pretty lucky. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but for the first time in my lifetime that I can remember, there are actually more jobs than there are people in this country right now, which is an amazing comment if you think about it for just a moment. What gives every student in this auditorium a leg up is, is that they're trained to do something specifically, and that gives them an edge even with that. 
and it gives them a chance to go out into the world and really make their marks. We were talking just before we came into a group of folks, uh, some former BOCES uh, graduates who are now their own business people, running their own businesses, contributing to the community, doing so many great things for our community. And that's what our expectation is for you all. That when you leave here today with your parents, start thinking about being entrepreneurs. Start thinking about starting those businesses. I see all those white jackets in the back. Start thinking about taking care of me in my old age. Very important. All, right? all of these things are extremely important. And you all are offering your lives to the service of the people in this community, whether it be in law enforcement or construction or automotive, but I can go on and on and on. You are offering your service to the people in this room and to the people of our community. And that service is so important. And what you're doing is so important. So congratulations to you all. Thank you. Enjoy the ceremony. Enjoy this time. I have three children myself all over the age of 21 now, and I hope soon living on their own. <laughs> so I want that to be the same for all the parents in this room, and to say thank you to all the parents in this room. You cared enough to allow your children to do something extra, because coming to our program was extra. They didn't have to do this. They put in extra work to get to where they are. So congratulations to you all, and the best of luck in your future, and let's get on with it. Thank you. To begin the awards portion of the program, I'd like to invite Nancy Turnbull, Teachers Association President, who will present the Teachers Association Award. Good evening. The HFM Teachers Association Award is a $250 cash award presented to deserving career and technical students by the HFM BOCES Teachers Association. The winners are recognized for their dedication in their field of interest. We have two awards tonight. The first recipient is a Johnstown High School student in the Foundations of Food program, and it's Megan Tessero. receiving the second scholarship from the Teachers Association is a Fonda Fultonville High, High School student in the Cosmetology program, and it's McKenna Vladek. The Hamilton Full Montgomery Superintendent's Award recognizes two career and technical students who demonstrate a positive attitude toward career and technical education. This award is a $500 cash award. The first recipient from Broad Alvin High School in the Careers and Education program, Chris Mercado.
our second recipient from Gloversville High School in the Environmental Conservation Program, Jacob Albertine. Dr. Jeffrey Davis Memorial Award recognizes students in all divisions of HFM BOCES who have demonstrated integrity, drive, and determination. The student receiving this award has made contributions to others through community involvement and sharing talent for music with others. From Amsterdam High School and the New Visions Health Careers Program, Molly Monge. To present the Ben Conti Pay It Forward Scholarship, I'd like to introduce Ben's children, Mo Conti and Angeline Conti. Good evening. The Ben Conti Pay It Forward Scholarship is a $250 cash award in memory of our father, Ben Conti, a longtime environmental conservation teacher. Our dad was there for everyone. He believed that if you helped others, that kindness would come back to you. This award will recognize a student who embodies some of his best qualities. A student who is kind, respectful, helpful, responsible, volunteers, and who will pursue success despite obstacles. This year's recipient is an environmental conservation student from OESJ High School, Jacob Battisti. The Career and Technical Center Outstanding Professional Student Award is a $500 cash award presented to two students who have demonstrated significant accomplishments through a personal essay and written letters of reference, as well as their performance in our programs. The first student to be recognized this evening as the Career and Technical Center Outstanding Professional Student is from Mayfield High School in the Digital Multimedia Program, Anna King. Anna is president of the Mayfield class of 2018, as well as president of the Mayfield Key Club. At Career and Tech, she has excelled in the digital multimedia program. Anna has represented us in the Skills USA competition, where she placed second out of 30 students in the advertising design competition. Anna has also passed the Adobe Certified Associate Commencement Examination. Anna is described by teachers as a natural talent dedicated, poised, and an invaluable leader. Anna's English teacher says that Anna is seeking to accomplish her goals and be the best version of herself that she can be. In addition to Anna's academic success, she is a passionate voice 
and frequent presenter for Donate Life and the American Heart Association. Anna has traveled the country sharing her experiences as a heart transplant recipient. Anna will be attending LaSalle College in Newton, Massachusetts in the fall, majoring in graphic design. Congratulations. Anna. The second recipient of the Outstanding Professional Student Award is from Johnstown High School in the Engineering Technology Program, William Dixon. <laughs> During his high school career, Will has participated in cross country and Nordic skiing, earning awards in both sports. Will is a four-year member of the Johnstown High School Band and was recently named to the All-County Jazz Band Ensemble. At Johnstown, Will is described as an extremely hard worker, always challenging himself by taking a rigorous course load. His guidance counselor says it is unique to find a student of William's maturity, intellect, and character. At Career in Tech, William has been highly successful in the engineering technology program. Mr. Carrico says that Will is passionate about his work. He spends time outside of school learning the material and developing circuits. Will says that his experience at HFM has been life-changing. Will says, for the first time, I generally enjoyed going to school. All the coursework I was presented was relevant to my future, which motivated me. William will be attending SUNY Polytech Institute in the fall for electrical engineering. Congratulations, Will. for this evening is the New Visions Health Outstanding Professional Student Award. This award is presented by Dr. John Mestrangelo. Outstanding New Visions Professional Student Award this year goes to a student from Johnstown High School, Ashley Rule. <laughs> Ashley has built an impressive resume of extracurricular school and community activities. Ashley serves as a youth deacon. She has participated in fundraising for disaster relief and the Bee Conservatory and has volunteered at soup kitchens. This past spring semester, Ashley chose to challenge herself by enrolling in evening courses at FMCC to become a certified nurse's assistant. Ashley says that she decided to do this because she knows that being a CNA will help me better understand and help my patients more in depth when I become a doctor. Ashley's band director states the high standards that Ashley has set for herself have laid the groundwork for her future plans. Mrs. Busenick says that Ashley is someone who truly wants to make the world a better place, and once she obtains her medical degree, she will be unstoppable. Ashley is going to attend the University of Tampa, where she will double major in biochemistry and Spanish. Congratulations, Ashley. At this time, I'd like to welcome Mr. DeMeza, our administrative coordinator, who will introduce our students as they receive their certificates. Mr. DeMeza. Good evening. Our first program tonight is Automotive Technology with Mr. Tad Davis and Ms. Kathy Zanella. Starting off tonight, from Canajahari High School, Carter Acker. From Johnstown High School,
High School, Jacob Christman. From Cannon to Harry, Aiden DiLorenzo. From Burr Alban Perth, Jonathan Dombluski. Winner of the highest average award, award from Broad Alban Perth, Joseph Gusti. From Canada Jahari, Brandon Hazard. From Plonda Fultonville, Christopher Hernigal. So from Fonda Fultonville, Ashley Lang. From Gloversville High School, Kyle Lanfear. Winner of the Most Professional Award from Johnstown High School, David Melagisi. From Amsterdam High School, Robert Moore. From Canada Jahari, Seth Ozier. From Fonda Fultonville, Dylan Pierce. Shane Porter. From Amsterdam, Mike Breaking. From Amsterdam, Brendan Shuffleberg. Gloversville High School, Owen Thompson. And from Mayfield High School, Brandon Tyler. Our next program is Auto Body with Mr. John Ackerman. And hey, we're going to start with Broad Alden Perth, Zachary Armstrong. <laughs> Mayfield Central, Dylan Diamond. Amsterdam, Joe Garcia. Here we got Johnstown, Dakota Alster. Most professional. O-E-S-J, Zachary Quill. <laughs> Highest grade, Gloversville, Brad Sawyer, Jr. Matthew Siever.
and Johnstown, Jordan Snell. Careers in Education with Mr. Glenn Goodale and Mrs. Rosemary Podbielski. Good evening, a member of the National Technical Honor Society from Greater Amsterdam District, Brittany Margaret Bascom. <laughs> A member of the National Technical Honor Society from Broad Alban Perth High School, Caitlin May Davis. <laughs> also a member of the National Technical Honor Society from Gloversville High School, Kaylee H. Mace. A member of the National Technical Honor Society, the most professional, the highest average from Broad Alban Perth High School, Chris T. Mercado. A member of the National Technical Honor Society from the Greater Amsterdam District, Georgia Lynn Marie O'Neill. A member of the National Technical Honor Society from the Fonda Fultonville Central School District, Gabrielle Michelle Van Valkenburg. from the Fond of Fultonville Central School District, Cassandra Marie Weaver. Our next program is Computer Information Technology with Mr. Sean Mahon. Johnstown School District, Dominic Sosha. <laughs> With the highest average earning National, National Technical Honor Society from the Amsterdam School District, Michael Hughes, Jr. <laughs> earning the National Technical Honor Society from the Gloversville School District, Troy Johnson. From the Fonda Fultonville School District, Christopher Jones. From the Canajahari School District, Brandon King. from the Johnstown School District, Isaac Wynn. <laughs> Earning the Most Professional Award, National Technical Honor Society from the Johnstown School District, Zachary Robier. <laughs> from the Amsterdam School District, Mia Sanchez.
the Johnstown School District, Andrew Shackleton. From the Oppenheim Euphrates St. Johnsville School District, Christian Soul. And from the Oppenheim Euphrates St. Johnsville School District, Matthew Spain. Construction Technology with Mr. Don Lucas. <laughs> Member of the National Technical Honor Society, winner of the highest average, winner of the most professional award from the Greater Amsterdam School District, Cara Boston. From the Greater Amsterdam School District, Joseph Besser. From the Greater Johnstown School District, Joseph Stanton, Jr. Our next program is Cosmetology with Ms. Valerie Charpentier and Mrs. Julie Mead. Most Professional from Fonda Fultonville, McKenna Black. Kenna Jahari, Laney Hansen. Gloversville, Alexis Hayes. Johnstown, Candace Kelly. Sierra McAdams. <laughs> Highest average for plane, Emily Swank. <laughs> Johnstown, Faith Wilson. Johnstown, Jenna Winters. <laughs> Adult student, Maria Buholtz. <laughs> Adult student, Michelle Calhoun. from Amsterdam High School, Brandy Hirschfeld. <laughs> Most professional from Amsterdam High School, Abigail McNamara. <laughs> Most professional adult student, Stacia Mead. Highest average adult student, Kelly Motel.
next program is Criminal Justice with Mr. Michael Scott. Good evening. I'm fond of Colville Central School, Chloe Benning. Gloversville High School, Gabrielle Brown. From Johnstown High School, Tyler Bump. From Fort Plain High School, Gabriella Dillenbeck. Mayfield Central School, Kyle Damon. From Johnstown High School, Christian Esposito. From Amsterdam High School, Olivia Fiorella. Well Central School, Justin Foster. With our co highest average with Northville Central School, Carly Foster. From Gloversville High School, Jasmine Gonzalez. Johnstown High School, Ethan Hadcock. A member of the National Technical Honor Society from Johnstown High School, Riley Hall. From Mayfield Central School, Gage Hayes. Central School, Alexandria Holloway. <laughs> also from the Fonda Colville Central School, Kenneth Horton. <laughs> from the Fort Plain Central School, Michaela Hutchins. Gloverdale High School, Chance Jackson. I have two co most uh, professional awards. The first one from Northville Central School, Tony Karbowski. From the Johnstown High School, Tara Kilmar. Central School, Haley LeBrat. <laughs> From the Gloversville High School, Jalen Leach. <laughs> A member of the National Technical Honor Society from the Amsterdam High School, Lucia Liberio. From the Johnstown High School, Dominic Ledestro. Our other most professional award goes to Fred Alvin Park Central School, William Montgomery. From 
the K.J. Harry Central School, Naomi Mosier. From the Broad Auburn Core Central School, also Austin Melvinia. A member of the National Technical Honor Society, and also with the highest average from the Amsterdam High School, Tora Netherlands. From the Johnstown High School, Logan Pedrick. From the Amsterdam High School, Marshall Rafalek. From the Gloversville High School, Amber Rafferty. Also from the Gloversville High School, Roderick Royal. From the Amsterdam High School, Eliana Sanchez. From the Gloversville High School, Gabrielle Strait. From the Mayfield Central School, Kendra Tessero. Also from the Mayfield Central School, Aaron Tubbs. From the Gloverville High School, Michaela Ben Austin. A member of the National Technical Honor Society from the Fond Holm Mill Central School, Kelsey Whipple. Also from the Fond Holm Mill Central School, Amelia Yeti. Our next program is Culinary Arts with Mr. Kevin Collins and Mr. Don Hodge. Learning most professional from Fort Plain High School, Nicholas Barringer. Jenna Dillenbeck. From Gloversville High School, Mackenzie Dingman. From Fort Plain High School, Alexis Douglas. Earning highest average from Northville High School, Jill Hatton. From Johnstown High School, Kelly Hart. From Gloversville High School, Kayla Lampier. From Johnstown High School, Bethany Rowe. From the Foltonville High School, Samantha Cycle. From Amsterdam High School, A.J. Smith Jr. From Mayfield High School, James Walker. Fultonville High School, Nicholas Yessi. Yeah. 
Our next program is Digital Multimedia with Mr. Andrew Huth and Mr. Phil Schuyler. From Oppenheim Freight at St. Johnsville High School, Tyler Carpenter. Fonda Poltonville, Kenzie Chrisman. A member of the National Honor Society from Broad Open Perth High School, Joshua Cromley. Loveville High School, Alexander Eller. Johnstown High School, Emily Everest. Northville High School, Christopher Finley. From Oppenheim Afraid of St. Johnsville, Zachary Karen. A member of the National Technical Honor Society from Broad Alban Perth, Brendan Gladman. Northville High School, Jane Hoffman. From Johnstown High School, Caesar Kenna. Broad Alban Perth High School, Michaela Kilburn. From Northville High School, Amber King. <laughs> Receiving the highest average, the Skills USA Award and National Technical Honor Society from Mayfield High School, Anna King. Receiving the Most Professional Award, the Skills USA Award from Fonda Fultonville High School, Megan McDougall. From Broad Alban Perth High School, Tyler McCann. From Amsterdam High School, Michael Oropello. From Canada Jahari High School, Cameron Richardson. From Broad Island Perth High School, Zachary Reinhardt. From Amsterdam High School, Nicholas Shaw. From Gloversville High School, Christina Wells. From Mayfield High School, Diana Young. From Johnstown High School, Rosa Zarelli. Engineering Technology with Mr. Zachary Carico. From Mayfield School District, Matthew Decker. Award for highest average. Johnstown School District, William Dixon. From Amsterdam School District, Nathan Grant. From Mayfield Central School District, Devin Horning.
from Amsterdam School District, Misha Murdoch. From Broad Alban Hurt School District, Colin Stark. From Fort Plain School District, Grant Stevens. Award for the most professional from Cam Jahari School District, Nicholas Suits. From Mayfield Central School District, sorry, from Northville <laughs> School District, Jarrett Sweet. And from Mayfield School District, Alexander Yost. Our next program is Environmental Conservation with Mr. Adam Cancio and Mr. Craig Newkirk. I'm going to start with our heavy equipment operations students from Oppenheim Euphrates St. Johnsville High School, Jacob Battisti. From Brabham Perth High School, Sarah Bellinger. <laughs> Earning highest average from Brabham Perth High School, Serena Bevington. <laughs> Earning most professional from Fort Plain High School, Brian Christman II. From Johnstown High School, Corey Germain. From Broadland Perth High School, Anthony Gelati. From Canajahari High School, Dylan Hazard. From Gloversville High School, Dylan Rockefeller. Canajahari High School, Cheyenne Shervanian. From Gloversville High School, Jacob Spanbauer. From Johnstown High School, Nick Stillwell. And from Wells High School, Robert Zemkin. In the forestry and lumber production career back from Gloversville, Jacob Albertson. Canada Jahari, Nathan Knoblo. <laughs> From Amsterdam, Logan Marone. <laughs> From OESJ, Austin Mosier. Highest average for Mayfield, Riley Michael. <laughs> From Broad Alban, Jordan Quickington. <laughs> From Fort 
McLean as her rounds. From Gloversville, Isaiah Roback. And from Fonda Fultonville, Nicholas White. Science with Mr. Robert Bossart. Good evening. The program completers for Equine Science are from Mayfield, Rebecca Patissi. From Fonda Fultonville, J.C. McSperry. Mackenzie Perrin. From Canada Harry, Christina Richards. From Fonda Fortonville, Nicole Rowe. Recipient of the highest average and most professional awards from Broad Autumn Perth, Melanie Vickers. And member of the National Technical Honor Society and recipient of the Trainers Award from Fonda Fultonville, Hannah Wozniak. Thank you. Foundation of Food Services with Mrs. Rebecca Skrekowitz and Mrs. Amy Webb. From Gloversville High School, Dylan Hodge. From Mayfield High School, Sarah Levers. Professional student from Amsterdam High School, Keisha Pagan. From Red Alban Perth High School, Peter Rebelard. From Johnstown High School, Megan Tessero. from Red Alban Perth High School, Matthew Eulinger. Our next program is Medical Assisting with Mrs. Joanne Wood, Mrs. Joanne Schmidt, and Mr. Ron Luft. Johnstown High School Certified Medical Assistant, Isabella Caruso. From Fonda Fultonville, Certified Medical Assistant, Destiny Cutler. A member of National Technical Honor Society, from Amsterdam High School Certified Medical Assistant, Brandon Davis. Our 
earning highest academic average, a member of National Technical Honor Society, a certified medical assistant from Amsterdam High School, Reese Devine. From Fondaful and Fultonville High School, certified medical assistant, Jocelyn Dowling. From Gloversville High School, certified medical assistant, Connor Drake. From Greater Amsterdam High School, certified medical assistant, Natalie Fernandez. From Mayfield High School, certified medical assistant, Sarosh Haven. From Broad Alban Perth High School, certified medical assistant, Cassandra Hill. From Fonda Fultonville High School, certified medical assistant, Michaela Hauser. Earning most professional student from Johnstown High School, certified medical assistant, Nicole Jackson. From Broad Alban Perth High School, certified medical assistant, Alyssa Mosier. From Amsterdam High School, Carlos Muniz. From Broad Alban Perth High School, certified medical assistant, Avery Musson. From Amsterdam High School, Emma Petrie. From Gloversville High School, certified medical assistant, Dana Rosen. From Amsterdam High School, certified medical assistant, Morgan Roof. A member of National Technical Honor Society, certified medical assistant from Amsterdam High School, Abby Sains. From Johnstown High School, a member of National Technical Honor Society, certified medical assistant, Paige Stewart. From Mayfield High School, certified medical assistant, Christian Wittemeyer. Our last program of the evening is New Visions Health with Mrs. Erica Busenek. A member of National Technical Honor Society from Amsterdam, Paige Bertucci. A member of National Technical Honor Society from Amsterdam, Kelsey Bodgen. Yeah. 
Alain Cooper. A member of National Technical Honor Society from Canada to Harry, Megan Marie Dingman. A member of National Technical Honor Society from Amsterdam, Kayla Tkowitz. A member of National Technical Honor Society from Johnstown, Abigail Levin. Receiving highest average, a member of National Technical Honor Society from Amsterdam, Molly Mond. From Canada to Harry, Aiden Paul O'Neill. A member of National Technical Honor Society from Northville, Emily Ovett. Mayfield, Lauren Pennelly. <laughs> A member of National Technical Honor Society from Johnstown, Emma Rizzo. <laughs> Receiving most professional, A member of, member of National Technical Honor Society from Johnstown, Ashley Rule. A member of National Technical Honor Society from Gloversville, Libby Ash. A member of National Technical Honor Society from Mayfield, Sydney Matton. A member of National Technical Honor Society from Mayfield, Kristen Camino. Ron Fultonville, Brittany Castelluccio. <laughs> Receiving most professional and a member of National Technical Honor Society from Ron Fultonville, Jennifer Castle. <laughs> a member of National Technical Honor Society from Ron Fultonville, Katie Dunham. Member of National Technical Honor Society from Mayfield, Elise Hart. A member of National Technical Honor Society from Broad Alban Firth, Devin Thomas Holt. A member of National Technical Honor Society from Pond Fultonville, Tyler David Kearns.
This has been an amazing group of young men and women, second largest class that we've had, 256 students this evening who graduated. One last round of applause for them. I think it's so important. So at this time, we're going to choreograph the end of the ceremony. So I'm going to ask the teachers at this time to proceed to the cafeteria to meet the students. So teachers, you can head to the cafeteria at this time. Family, friends, and guests, you may depart at the back entrance. The students are going to proceed by program to the cafeteria to receive their certificates. Have a great evening. Thank you so much for coming.